Grady's. Today, I want to remind you that self-awareness is your saving grace when you're dealing with a narcissist. Being aware of the power that you have and how much giving that power away can influence the ideas and activities of others. See, when you're dealing with somebody with narcissistic traits, they'll take whatever they can, whether it be attention, reputation, perceived power, in any shape, form, or fashion. That's what they crave. So in being self-aware and knowing the power that you have and the power that we can sometimes give away, it's almost as if you are taking something away from them in their reality. When truthfully, it was always yours to give or to keep. You don't owe them anything. So in being self-aware, you could remind yourself more and more that you don't owe them. That's your power because that is within your control and always has been. Let's see, one thing that I've learned on my journey, and hopefully it helps somebody, as it helped me, is that when you're dealing with somebody with narcissistic traits, to truly understand what you're interacting with, look at them, their reality, the things they say, the things they do, and don't attempt to justify to understand it. If you want to know what's going on, take the things they do and say, look at the complete opposite, and then you will understand their reality. For instance, if you have someone who spreads rumors, half truths, uh, about yourself and they take any opportunity they can to belittle you make you appear small look at the opposite they spread lies about you because they don't know or connect with the truth of themselves they want to belittle you to make themselves feel bigger because the rea their reality is they feel small inside. That's what projection is all about. So sometimes when you're dealing with these people or certain circumstances that are fueled by these people, you have to truly look at the opposite to get understanding. And once you have that understanding, once you see that the insecurities that they project outside onto you and onto others, are truly a reflection of the reality that they live in, that they want to escape by doing these things, you can find peace in that. You don't have to work to change them. You don't even have to do any more work of wanting to understand them because they're giving you all the answers. So you look at the end result of the things they say, you look at the end result of their actions, which is what they express. That is the end result and flip it around. Then you can see where they're coming from. Then you can see why your presence or you being true to who you are bothers him. Because you're expressing what you truly know yourself to be inside. You're expressing the truth of who you are, your identity, the belief of how reality is for you. And because you can reflect your inner world to the outside world and they don't live in that manner, it's almost as if it's an attack to them. It's almost as if you're throwing it in their face that you could be truly who you are while they live a lie. Now, they may not consciously be aware of that, but their actions show with this. You reflect the goodness in your heart and mind out into the world. They project their insecurities out into the world. That's why when you deal with them, 
You must look at the opposite of what they do and express. That's the only way to understand it. And in doing so, you'll understand how to maneuver it. How to not interact with it. See, they would say and do anything just to get a reaction, just to get some form of attention, no matter if it's good or bad. So they don't give them attention. Now you're starving. They will ask your opinion without having formed their own. Only with the intentions to tear your opinion down or belittle it. Okay. Don't give my answer. Don't give them what they want. One thing that I learned along my journey that really changed the way I interacted with many people in my life was when I was in the, when I was a new father and my daughter was an infant. I began to see that certain actions or certain uh certain problems in the way that my infant daughter would address these problems was the same way adults in my life were acting. And I had a moment of clarity where I began to treat them just as I would my infant daughter. And you can learn a lot, especially when dealing with somebody with narcissistic traits. You begin to see what some will call the unhealed aspects of their psyche or uh, certain blind spots that they have in their identity or who they are. And it's not your job to fix it. I'm not saying that at all. I'm simply saying that you realize that when you're interacting with these people, they may not see it the way you do. That's fine. Let them be. But in being self-aware and knowing who you truly are, knowing that you operate in this world a little bit differently, that you move a little bit differently, it's on you to protect yourself. That's what self-awareness is. You know who you are. And you move accordingly. You know that although others may have their own weapons that they use to get some kind of perceived version of power, you don't have to play that game. You don't lose games that you don't play. You let them go out in the world and live how they want to live. That's fine. And you do what you do. Sometimes there are situations where we do have to interact with these people or that we have to go into circumstances where they have a little bit more sway or influence. That's absolutely fine. Give as little as you can. Do not get involved in that game. See, they have an agenda to keep you dancing around. That's all they want to do. And as soon as you get in the groove, they're going to change the music. So don't dance with them. Don't. Because one thing you will see is that over time, they're going to run out of people to get on the dance floor with them. They're going to run out. And when they run out, they get sadder and sadder. They get more bitter. They get more hurtful. Because there's nobody else to play the game with them. That's why you just let them live. Because at some point, they're going to have to face it. It's not your job to make them face it faster. No, all you must do is protect yourself. All you must do is know how you're going to walk along your path and focus on that. Don't worry about nothing else. They will take care of themselves. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Be blessed.